Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Some of my viewers ask me, how can I use the NextGen on an ESP8266 or on an Arduino Uno? Watchers of my video number 56 and number 59 know that I used an Arduino Mega for my tests because this board has more than one serial connector. So I was able to connect my NextGen to Serial 2 and use Serial for debugging. Very simple. Other Arduinos, including the Uno, only have one serial and the ESP8266 has two serials, but one is not completely usable. In this video, I will show you how to use a NextGen display also on these platforms. Let's first start with the NextGen library. It supports two serial connections, one for the NextGen itself and one for debugging. The definition of the two connections is done in the file nextconfig.h in the Arduino libraries folder. Here you can open the file nextconfig.h with your preferred text editor. For this video you find three important defines in this file. First, debug serial enable. Second, next serial and third, db serial. For the Arduino Mega we defined debug serial enable, set the next serial to serial 2 and db serial to serial. The next gen was then connected to serial 2 and we were able to see the debug messages in serial monitor. If you do not define debug serial enable or comment it, you will not get any debug messages and can live with one serial connection. I show you this concept with an Arduino Uno. The next config.h looks like this. We comment the define debug serial enable and set the define next serial to serial. The db serial does not matter because debug serial enable is not defined. To make sure we create no problems later, we define it to a serial which does not exist on this board. For Arduino Uno, this is serial 1 or serial 2. In our sketch, we also have to comment all db serial statements. Because we defined db serial to an unavailable serial connection, the compiler helps us to find these statements because we get errors if we forget to comment one of these statements. For our tests, I use the example of video number 59. I connect the next-gen display to the RX and TX pins and pay attention that I connect RX of the Arduino to the TX of the next-gen and vice versa. Now I try to upload the sketch. It compiles, but unfortunately does not upload. I only get error messages. Why is this? The heart of our Arduino Uno is an 80 Mega 328P chip. Because this chip does not have a USB connection, the Uno board contains a USB to serial chip. This chip is connected to the two serial pins RX and TX of the chip. If we connect our next-gen display to the UNO, we have to use the very same pins because the 328P only offers this single serial connection. Now we have two conflicting informations coming to the same pin and this screws the whole communication up. The simple solution to this problem is to disconnect the next-gen during upload. Now it works perfectly. After the upload, we reconnect the next-gen display. Because no signal is coming from the USB connector, the display works now as expected. If we look to the serial monitor, we even see the raw messages coming from the display. The same scenario works also with the ESP8266. Here, we also connect the next-gen to the RX and TX pins we also have to disconnect the next gen for upload. 
This is what I call the productive version, which I use for my devices if they are debugged and are used in a productive environment. In this scenario, I do not want to create any debug messages. But if our sketch does not work yet and we need some debugging information, in this case, we have to find a way to get a second serial connection for our debugging information. For Arduinos, it is possible to create a second serial connection using the software serial library. With this library, you can define two other pins as RX and TX for debugging. Unfortunately, I was not able to get software serial working with an action library. So the only possibility I found was to disable the debug function in the NextGen library and create a new serial connection directly in our sketch and put it on pin 2 and 3. I call this connection debug serial. Now we can print some debug messages. To display the messages, we have to connect pin 3 to a serial adapter and install a small program like PuTTY on our computer. Now we can see the debug messages. In addition, we still can see the raw messages coming from the next gen in our serial monitor. With this setup, we can debug our sketch. How can we connect the next gen to the ESP? The ESP8266, like the Arduino Mega, has two serial connections. Unfortunately, one pin of the second connections cannot be used because it is connected internally to the flash RAM. But good for us, it is the RX pin which is not usable. So we can still use the TX pin to produce our debug messages. The basic setup is the same as with the Arduino Uno. We connect the next gen to serial. For the debug connection, we use serial 1. The TX1 pin is either GPIO2 on the ESP12 modules or D4 on the Node MCU boards. And again, we have to disconnect the next gen display during upload. The next config.h file looks like this. We keep the define debug serial enable and set the next serial to serial. The DB serial is now set to serial 1. Using this method, we can now use the NextGen displays on all our Arduinos and also on the ESP8266. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye!